All right, welcome back everybody to Carnarvon. This is where the meerkat for the SKA and uh, this is a big, big day for South Africa as the launch of the meerkat is taking place. Now, the meerkat basically consists of 64 different antennas that I'm standing next to. There's this massive antenna. I think this is something called, this one is M47 and uh, each one of them have a number. There's 64 of them and this is the one we're in. I actually went inside of it a bit earlier. We're hoping to take our camera and show you what goes on in there and some of the data that's collected but I don't want to waste any more time because I can tell you we've been standing here in this freezing cold Sakina was saying that it's been impossible to make contact with it with you uh, in Johannesburg and the studio well it, that's a fact but it seems like we we've got our contacts going now and uh, you cannot even switch a cell phone on here because if it does it interferes with the work that they are doing no cell phones no iPads nothing and uh, that's why this is a great challenge for a broadcast I'm glad we're getting it off the ground but to talk to us a little bit more of it we've got the DG from uh, uh, science and technology department dr. Phil Dracha to talk to us a little bit more about this and what a big momentous occasion this is for South Africa good to see you yes it is a big moment Eliane and thanks uh, to yourself and and to your viewers uh, we are very very excited that uh, this project has now been completed uh, 64 dishes uh, built uh, on budget on time 70% local content uh, which is all South Africans, so we're very, very excited about this. This is massive. I mean, it's something that I, you know, I remember specifically when, when we won the bid and we were doing it in conjunction with Australia and then, of course, building started on this and here we stand in 2018 and it's being launched. People are flying from all over the world to come to this. Why is it so significant? I mean, if you could sort of lay it out for us as simply as you can, why is it such a big moment? Well, I think it is a big moment because uh, this is a scientific instrument first first of all and therefore for the scientists all over the world they will have access to a telescope that will begin to show images of the sky and the galaxies the black holes that have never been seen before uh, later on uh, when the deputy uh, president unveils the the telescope and when there's a launch you will see a wonderful picture of how the universe uh, looks like uh, by just using this uh, telescope which has been built in South Africa. So from the scientist, scientist perspective this is a wonderful occasion and uh, board members from the rest of the world will be joining us. But also there's an economic return uh, out of the investment that uh, South Africa has made. Uh, we have a company that started off with four people before the construction of the telescope and now it's got about 18 people and it's been constructing components of the telescope in the receiver end that will now be exported to the rest of the world and also possibly positioning that company to be one of the important companies that will be involved when the rollout of the phase one of the SKA as you know with 133 of these dishes is being rolled out here. So there's an element of economic return. We've spent approximately a hundred million uh, for procurement of small medium enterprises in this area. Uh, we've built a road 80 million rands uh, to make sure that between Carnarvon and, and this place, uh, you know, it's safe for people to come here. So there's an element of uh, economic return. And then, of course, there's a social return. Uh, as you know, uh, in Carnarvon now, we have a high school that is fully equipped uh, with laboratory equipment and got the best internet. We have a number of young people who have been through our bursary program that are now studying at the University of the Free State who would never had had this opportunity uh, if uh, the, the telescope was not being built. We've also trained a total of about a thousand uh, uh, students and a third of those students are coming from the rest of the continent and they're going back uh, to their countries to set up astronomy activities uh, and therefore as part of us uh, making sure that uh, we are not uh, uh, having neighbors that are poor uh, around us. So it's got different elements uh, uh, of the story to yeah, be told. So it's not just about these, these, these magnificent, majestic antennas that are doing so much research for the rest of the world. There is a big unveiling today. I'm not sure if we're allowed to talk about it here on air, but I know that, that there's, there's a photograph that, that the meerkat has actually taken that you're going to be unveiling today to show the power of this. Yes, it is uh, an exciting uh, photograph. Uh, as you know, uh, most of the telescope uh, 
or at least the difference between the radio telescope and an optical telescope, you're familiar with the optical telescope, we've got one in Sutherland, yeah, yeah. is that with a radio telescope you are able to see things that you cannot see with an optical telescope because sometimes light blares uh, stars and black holes and transient activities that are happening in the universe. So this telescope, because it's working in this uh, uh, radio frequency, begins to unveil things that have not been seen by any telescope uh, ever built. So th th this is a very, very, very exciting part of, as I say, the scientific part of uh, uh, of the story and we will be unveiling this, uh, showing things that we've not seen in the galaxies, uh, galaxy showing us uh, black holes that we haven't seen. Uh, so we're all waiting forward to that moment. That's amazing. Cannot wait to see it. That's going to all be unveiled today. So this now is the most powerful telescope in the world and it's being housed in South Africa in the Northern Cape, the Meerkat. That of course until the completion of the SKN that will of course be the most powerful but this is the South African phase that is now complete. So uh, Dr. Mracha, thank you very much for talking to us. DG from the Department of Science and Technology. To tell you it's cold is an understatement if I've ever said. It is bitterly freezing. You're handing yourself very well DG. <laughs> it, we, we've decided between us it must be about no, minus 5 degrees at least. It was minus 2 when we left Carnarvon and uh, I think now as we're standing here in the open with this blistering cold wind getting into our bones, it's cold. So that, that's all I have to tell you from here. I'm going to hand you back to Joburg uh, where it's a nice, warm, cozy studio. Sakina, bring us up to speed with the news at 7.